Hey everybody, how we doing today? What a day we got here in the Florida Keys. Look at how beautiful. Ah, Kuda! Oh, it's so nice out here. This is a purr, that motor. Ah, another Kuda. Ah, it's so nice today. Getting a late start because I had to wait for some orders to come in, but those are all done. It's about 3 o'clock. I want to make a run out to the reef, see if I can catch a 12 to 14 inch edible fish. So that's the plan. Well, plan B here is to catch some bait. Look, mullet. Look, snook. Damn you, snook. Oh, crap. More mullet. All right, I'm gonna catch some pilchards or some uh, glass minnows and then use those for chum. Damn snook. All right, we're in a bunch of cloudy, muddy water here, but I'm seeing these big pilchards in here. Ooh, quietly. Yeah, they're all inside here. All right, let's, I think they are just around here. Ooh, I see big flashes, lots of flashes. Oh yeah, one and done. All right. Yep. Beauties. Nice ones. All righty. Let's get out of here. All right, let's get some chummers. Hello there. That'll do us. Definitely good to go. All right, we're out of here. We're carrying precious cargo. Hey, babies. Okay, we are out here somewhere close to the reef. I think we might be somewhere in the middle of the reef. Not quite sure. We're just south, south of Pelican Shoals. That's kind of a little uh, island that forms at low tide. And then there's a turtle just to the east of that. So southwest of the turtle and south of Pelican Shoals is where we're at. Usually what I do is uh, when I'm not really concerned about where I'm doing is I'll go find some dark spots then find light spots down current or up current from it and then drop anchor and then just go from there but the water's kind of powdery since all the winds we've been having so it's really not able to do that so i've got the fish finder set up and uh that'll let me know where i'm at and what might be a good area to search for the other factor is is that i don't have my uh breakaway anchor my uh reef anchor which has a lot of line on it it's got a breakaway anchor with the zip tie only thing i have with me is my flats anchor which does not have a lot of rope plus it's a mushroom anchor so once it wedges on something you can't get it out so i think what i've got to do is find something in the 15 foot range 20 foot range maybe off to an edge of a deeper cut or find a little rock pile or something and fish off of that and then go from there so all my buddies are looking uh happy and healthy there i've been just kind of feeding them fresh water oh as we've been going along so uh yeah let's find a spot and get fishing okay i think we found a nice ledge we're gonna work coming up here goes like 21 foot and then boom we got ourselves a big uprising Uh, we should be sitting on the top of it now. Yep. Yeah, it's going to plateau a bit. And then we're going to find the other side of it. And that's where we're going to drop anchor. Because we're going up current right now. So as soon as I find the other side of the drop off, which I'm starting to see. This is where we're going to anchor up, up here somewhere. And just as much as I'm looking for that structure. 
looking for a flat bottom too because that's where I want to set up but I want to make sure I'm up current from those uprisings There we go. Yeah, there we go. All right, I think I know where we're gonna set up. All right, we're all set up. Uh, I've got my anchor out there. Hopefully I'll be able to get it back. Uh, gonna put the chum out. I've been doing a lot of chum trips because I had bought a case that I think is bad. Like you can see the uh, top is just freezer burnt. Not good. This is kind of what it should look like. And only about half of it is good. So I think that case that I had, uh, it's been sitting in the freezer for too long. So I'm gonna burn through it and just use it whenever I can. Uh, but let's get this set up and uh, get my rods all rigged up. Start catching. All right, so the first rig we got set up, I'm just gonna go straight to a knocker rig. That way I'll have a bait down there while I'm rigging up the rest of it. Just gonna nose hook them and just put them not too far out it's going to take a little bit for me to figure out where there there's a lot of rubbish down there that's going to cost me to get uh, snagged up but we'll find out pretty quickly i think uh the second rig we're just going to have up on top so i just got a live bait hook run it through the nostril area and that's it it's going to float him out there i've already had a few uh loose pilchers out there getting popped so we'll see if there's toothy critters or maybe just yellowtails eating them all right get back to rigging all right that was quick <laughs> this is on that top line uh pilchard just a live bait hook yep yellowtails We're looking for one just a little bit larger. Ouch. Well, they're stacking up back there, but target species acquired. All right. This is with a long shank hook, just in case they were some toothy critters. Ooh, gotta lighten that drag. They make those quick runs. Ah, oh, yellowtail. Ooh, getting nicer. That might be our keeper one. Yeah, he's a nice boy. Uh, 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 let go. You were hooked good. And measure him out. He might be our our perfect keeper. Yeah, that's 14 inches across. Um, I just want one. Uh. Oh, 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 yeah, they're pretty much stacked back there pretty good. I think this is a nice yellow tail again. Oh, yeah, this is our baby. That's the one. That's dinner. Right there. They're just munching on those pilchards out there. But yep, that's our keeper. In the box. Oh, get him out. Got him out, got him out. Mangrove, what are you doing over here? Oh, and you ate my hook. Uh, you get to keep it. I don't want that hook anyways. Yeah, we got a little Spanish. Just the spots, no bars. If it had the bars, it'd be a zero, but we just got a little Spanish there. Joining the club. I think, I think we've got something on here. Get him up, get him up, get him up. <laughs> Grouper.
Yeah, I knew you'd be down there hanging around looking for that easy meal. So this guy, I'm having problem that there's a lot of structure around here, just small probably fans and that kind of stuff, but the fish are just wrapping me up anytime I put a bottom bait down. So what I did is I put the uh, Cobra jig head and then just put it straight down with a pretty good size pilchard and then just kept it off the bottom waiting for this guy to show up. And he did. And that's the uh, quarter ounce because we're 18 foot of water and not a lot of current. But big mouth got him. There we go. Ugh. Get up. Get up. Get up. No. Ugh. Get up. Get up. Get up. Ugh. What are you? Uh, another grouper. <laughs> Ooh. Nicer size one there. Wow, nice chunker. Oh. Look at you, buddy. <laughs> Cobra jig head, baby. Man, look at him. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. <laughs> nice. They're just sitting right below me, waiting for an easy meal. <laughs> yeah, look at this dude. Another species. He hit this one on the top. I don't know what he's doing up there. Birdie, birdie. I've got some old tuna skin. I'm gonna drop down, see if there's anything willing to eat that. Something might have picked it up. <laughs> the old tuna skin trick. Whacking these grouper. Yeah, tuna belly skin. <laughs> That's how we do it. They're just stacked up down there. Just knowing that they're safe. Look at all that crap he's been eating. That is it. That's how we do it. <sighs> oh, something's messing with it. I think this is something smaller. Oh. Yep. Smaller. <laughs> Look at that. My bait is actually bigger than them. Ooh, that's a good bait for something big down there. Oh, get him up. Get him up there. Oh, this is another grunt got me in the rocks. Yeah. These guys are just screwing with me. Oh, that's a porgy. Another species. Man. I'm going to do double digit species today. Too bad you're little, otherwise you'd definitely come home. There we go. Ooh. This is on the top line, pilchard. Ooh, what is that? Is that a stupid shark? Is that a stupid shark? Yeah, dang it. Another species, though. Ah, oh, man. Dang it. Well, 
You got a yell tail jig. Pop off. Cut it off. Get off. There it goes. Whoa! Yeah, this is on the live pilchard up top. Think we got a nice yellow tail? What is it? Yeah, it's feeling yellow tailish. Better not be a dang shark. That's for sure. Staying down sharkishly. Oh, no. Is it my mutton? It's my mutton. Yay. That's the only fish that I've been missing. It's the mutton. Oh. There we go. On the yellowtail jig. The little pilchard. Nice. That was the one fish that I was missing. Couldn't get the uh, ballyhoo, so I figured I wasn't going to get one of these before I left. Nice! Look how pretty those guys are. How red. Got him on the little 132nd ounce uh, yellowtail snapper jig. In we goes. Got our mutton. I am a call it day now. Nice! Mission accomplished. I'm basically just lip hooking them. It's got the small 132nd hook, so keeps it pretty well hidden. I'm just pitching it out there. It looks like the bigger fish are moving in closer, giving it a good amount of slack. Close the bail and put it in the rod holder. <laughs> That's all I'm doing. Man, stuff is starting to eat now. Ugh. Ah, nice yellowtail. Yellowtail snapper jig's going to work. But I guess that's what they're made for. Getting the nice tails. See, I'm not sure what the deal is, but I don't think this chum is good. I think I got a bad batch because it's the same problem I had in the gulf side. I couldn't get the ballyhoo to come in, and that's odd. So, I don't know. I'm gonna burn through the case that I've got and then just start over again and double check before I get the nether next case. But hardly used uh, maybe a quarter of the block today. And it did so good, but kind of hard to miss when you got live pilchards. Alrighty, calling it. Still got tons of sun, probably a couple hours of sun still, but that's what I wanted, a super quick two hour trip. Man, I think we got about 10 different species. Good species, too. Uh, it's good to get some heavyweight with those red groupers. So, yeah, I'm happy. That made up for those four days of skunking just all in today. But can't miss with chum and a uh, bucket of live pilchards. But I kept the one uh, yellowtail perfect 14 inches. That's going to be exactly what I'm looking for. We're going to stick on the same program of the... The foil pack, just super easy, basically uh, bulletproof methods of cooking fish. Got an even easier, simpler way than even the prior one, so we're gonna do that today. Hopefully I could retrieve my anchor. That'd be a bummer if I lose that, but it'd be 20 bucks if I do. Uh, yeah, so let's head on in. My beautiful motor's running so good. I'm so happy with it. So smooth, the horsepower's back get rid of my new motor. I like this one so much better. But let's head on back. <laughs> 